a madman, a great genius who has lit up all of humanity for hundreds of years. Who is he? Nikola Tesla, genius with numerous unusual obsessions with pyramids along with terrifying truth revelations about it. Why was Nikola Tesla obsessed with the Egyptian pyramids? What ancient invention of Nikola Tesla related to the pyramids? Although Nikola Tesla died unappreciated, his fame has recently been brought to the limelight. In fact, his key ideas led to the invention of smartphones, Wi-Fi, AC, electrical supply systems, and some of the technologies we use today, apart from his crazy ideas that were patented. Tesla expressed interest in several other mysterious top-secret projects, including the Egyptian pyramids. His drive to unlock the secrets of the pyramids began when he was 20 years old. It was at this point in his life that he decided to make it. His life's goal was to make about 2.5 million blocks of stone and weighing nearly 6 million tons. The Egyptian pyramids are mysterious and made in magnificent structures that have drawn several visitors from across the globe. If you've ever seen or read about these pyramids, you'd agree with those that they are full of secrets that have not been exposed. And some of these secrets are the sources of Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking ideas and inventions especially the notion of the ability of pyramids to generate power. Many people believe that the pyramids were actually tombs for the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. However, it was surprising that not a single mummy has been found in any of them. All the mummies are lying in the Valley of the Kings. Besides, there are no indigenous Egyptian inscriptions or art on the pyramids. Unbelievable, right? Who could have predicted it? So many resources to build such gigantic structures with no goal in mind. Neither are they some edifices that have been built in honor of some gods. Nikola Tesla read several books about ancient structures and found that the pyramids contained an incredible amount of energy at the time. Electricity was barely known and Tesla began to consider the probability of the pyramids having some advanced technology lurking within them. He became convinced that the pyramids derived their power from electromagnetism. The pyramids might have been built with some form of crystal energy and the chambers within them were used to tamper with the electromagnetic fields. He also holds the theory that the materials such as stones used in constructing the Great Pyramid had energy-storing properties derived from the sun and the moon. Therefore, he suggested that the pyramid could have been designed to generate an energy field capable of providing electricity to cities in 1905. Tesla submitted a patent in the U.S. titled The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium. The patent outlined designs for a series of worldwide generators that tapped the ionosphere to sap electrical energy. He considered planet Earth a gigantic electrical generator of unlimited energy spinning around two magnetic poles. He would later refer to his triangular design and Tesla's electromagnetic pyramid furthermore. He believed that the location of the pyramids rather than their shapes is the source of their energy. So he decided to build a tower facility that would later spark the whole city. This tower is known today as the Tesla Experimental Station situated at the base of Pikes Peak in Colorado Springs. It is also known as the Warden Cliff Tower or Tesla Tower on the East Coast. He built the pyramids at these locations following the laws of the location of the pyramids Giza and in relation to the elliptical orbit of the planet in the equator. The tower's construction was based on his theories about how the Earth could conduct the signals. According to Tesla, the prototype would send and receive data and unlimited energy as far as Paris, France. Unfortunately, Tesla's discovery and the device went into oblivion following his mysterious death in 1943. However, his work succeeded him even after his death. Scholars and researchers have studied his theories on the power of the pyramid and his ideas have helped to uncover many of the mysteries surrounding the pyramids. What Nikola Tesla was trying to explain to us about the pyramids might sound too vague, perhaps. He wants us to understand the power of something much more ancient than... Let's look at Tesla's idea of numerology for clarity. According to Tesla, the numbers 3, 6, and 9 constitute a great key to the universe, therefore of great importance for all of us on planet Earth. He said that many models appear naturally in the universe, in our galaxies, in star formations, in evolution, and in almost all natural systems. Some believe his obsession with the numbers 3, 6, and 9 influences preference for a pyramid shape and certain fundamental mathematical logs. He believed that these figures were the cardinal numbers of a universal math language 
and this is why he would not use or do a thing that does not result in the number three or a multiple of it. Tesla would drive around any building three times before going in. He stayed in hotels with numbers divisible by three. He lived on the 33rd floor of the New Yorker Hotel in New York City, room number 3327. Mathematically, three plus three equals six, and two plus seven equals nine. He slept about three hours each night. He polished his cutlery and dishes with 18 napkins before using them. He made decisions in groups of three. People, whatever calculations he made about things in his environment, he ensured the results were conceivable by three. These results would form the basis of his choices and decisions. That makes him look like a madman, but actually, he wants to tell us a human secret. He did not create mathematics. We eventually realized that mathematics is a universal language and the law guiding it is binding on everyone on planet Earth. For instance, in vortex mathematics, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 4 plus 4 equals 8, 8 plus 8 equals 16, 16 plus 16 equals 32, 32 plus 32 is 64, 1 plus 6 equals 7, 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 6 plus 4 equals 10. Oh, look at that! You'd notice that the number patterns only return 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, and 5. These numbers are repeated 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, also 3, 6, and 9 does not follow this pattern, realizing that these forms are found in nature. The ancient people emulated them in construction. If Nikola Tesla could be so obsessed with these matters, can we say he was trying to reveal some truths to us, using the Great Pyramids as a reference point? Here is the reason the size of the pyramid is aligned with the compass with an accuracy that can only be derived from modern engineering. The Pyramid of Giza comprised 2.5 million blocks of stone, weighing 6 million tons. It stands 481 feet high, and its footprint is over 13 acres. The pyramid is locked into the true cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west. A very slight discrepancy of 360th of a degree error could be observed notwithstanding. It could be considered inconsequential, considering the fact that the builders of the structure lived in the Dark Ages. So how is it possible that the ancient builders had an idea of the dimension to the mysterious planet? However, it is common knowledge that ancient people were so obsessed with equinoxes. The equinox is the intersection of the sun's path in the sky with the equator. When the length of day and night are equal to the length of day and night on an equinox, it is 43,200 seconds. However, most skeptics consider the relationship between the equinox and the size of the Earth as a mere coincidence. But according to engineer Glenn Dash, the Egyptians couldn't have used the pole star or shadow to align the pyramids. He believed they must have used the autumnal equinox to achieve perfect alignment for the structures. Equinox measurements have been previously overlooked as a possible alignment method. This is because it was thought to need more accuracy, but Dash differed on this, as he revealed the possibility of the equinox providing accurate measurements using a nomad to cast a shadow to prove this. He experimented by tracking the point of the shadow of the fall equinox in 2016 to form a smooth curve of points at the end of the day. He intercepted two of the curved points with a tall piece of string wrapped around the pole. This created an almost perfect line running east to west. This is known as the Indian Circle Method. He showed that though the measurement was inaccurate, the degree of error was similar to the slight error found in the alignment of the pyramids at Giza. The astronomical latitude 30 is halfway between the equator and the North Pole. The pyramid could be speaking to our universe in this way, in the construction of the Great Pyramid. There was an error, though, about just 0.05 degrees in the measurements. Even though the ancient structures adopted triple and hexagonal symmetry, we could see the three pyramids that are completely aligned with the constellation Orion. You'd observe that the number 43,200 is relevant here. It is so because it represents the axial precession of the Earth. The number is also a multiple of 72 years that Earth takes to wobble its axis. These numbers, 72 and 432, are also present in ancient mythologies. In sacred texts, for instance, 72 is the number of languages spoken at the Tower of Babel. It is also the number of names for God in Jewish Kabbalah. Finally, it is the number of temples at Angkor Wat and the number of degrees of longitude between Angkor Wat and the Great Pyramid. Hertz is a harmonic frequency believed to be an optimal resonance for music, and 432,000 is the number of syllables in the Hindu Rig Veda. What could all of these mean? Could the ancient Egyptians have possibly used a mathematical language? 
we're only just realizing it. If you're interested in outer space and the world's mysteries, you can choose to watch the following videos on our channel. And be sure to leave a comment below to let us know what you think of today's content. Again, we thank you very much. We hope to see you again next time from all of us here. Until then, be careful and be safe.